Hello class, welcome to your super boring, not fun at all, math lesson class thing. Just kidding. Okay, we're gonna do something since you're in quarantine and need to do math online or with your parents or whatever else you're doing. We're gonna have fun with the math that we're doing. And so the first thing, and yes, Malachi, I do have coffee, it's from Chick-fil-A. Anyways, first thing that we're doing is a bottle flip challenge. I guess I should mention what we're doing overall in the big picture of things. We have got the Hunger Games. Okay, so come to find out the Hunger Games is copyrighted. I want to do Hunger Games because of my Chick-fil-A and I was hungry and now I ate and I had my Chick-fil-A and it was pretty good, but we'll change it to The Funger Games, because it's gonna be fun, right? Okay, we, yeah, we need a little specification there. So we'll say the Ants and Tiger Funger Games. Well, it's just us, it's not all the other grades, so maybe we'll do. The Ants and Tiger 5th grade math totally awesome funger games. Anyways, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to put up a spreadsheet on your Google Classroom. Now this is going to be one single spreadsheet that we all share. It's going to have everybody's name and the different days. So you're just going to be filling in stuff next to your name. Okay, not anybody else's name, only your name. Day one of our Ants and Tiger fifth grade math totally awesome funger games is a bottle flip challenge. For this bottle flip challenge, here's what needs to happen. First, you need a bottle of water. Okay, everybody knows that a full bottle of water is not gonna flip or you're gonna have problems. It's gonna what, bounce everywhere and all my family would be mad at me because it'd be loud, it'd probably break the table and all that. So, we gotta drink some of this water first. Okay, now let's test it out, and I'm gonna do my one minute bottle flip challenge. You ready? Okay, I don't know about y'all, but I think I did pretty awesome. So, here's what's gonna happen. Once you've done your one minute of bottle flipping, if you wanna take a picture and post it, or make a video of your one minute of bottle flipping, it's really easy to time a minute if you've got, got a phone that you're videoing from because it's got a little timer thing up here that counts the one, that counts your one minute down for you have a one minute video if you did it that way. I'm doing air quotes a lot today for some reason. So once you've got your total number of bottle flips, then on the spreadsheet, you'll have your name over here and the day up on top. And I might put, I don't know, I hadn't made it yet. So I'll put bottle flip or day one, something like that. You'll put how many times you did your bottle flip next to your name on your day. Okay, there's gonna have to be a couple rules with this because you're saying, oh, how, how do I know that everybody's not gonna cheat? Or what if somebody goes and changes my numbers or does that? 
one, I can see the edit history on the spreadsheet. So if you change anybody else's numbers, then you're gonna be out of the competition, uh, no more. This is for us to have fun, but there's also gonna be prizes in there too. So you got something at stake. We're gonna have first, second, third place. And this competition is gonna run for however long we're out. So it might be two weeks, it could be longer than that. And we'll have a running total and op options to get bonus points, things like that. But first place is gonna get 200 dojo points. Okay, 200, 200. Zero, zero. Second place is gonna get 150. Third place, we'll get 100. Now this is not just for today. So if you put on there, oh, I did 500 bottle flips in one minute. One, we're gonna know that you're cheating. Two, it's not just the total for today. It is gonna be cumulative. So for our however long we run the games for. So first place, 200 points. Second place, 150. Third place, uh, 100 points. Okay, that's a lot of dojos. And if for some reason we're out for the whole rest of the school year, then I don't know, I'll send you a shoebox full of candy or something. It's still a pretty good prize, right? So, get to bottle flipping. Okay, post a video or pictures of it if you want to. I'll show you Elisha's bottle flipping even at the end of this video. Then go in, it'll be posted on your Google Classroom, I think along with this video. Put in your total of how many bottle flips you got in one minute. Then we'll see what the totals look like for our, for our class for today. Okay, good luck. Oh, one more thing I almost forgot. Every single day you're gonna have an opportunity to get extra points added to your total by the number of lessons that you pass on Alex. So if you wanna hop onto Alex and pass some lessons, we'll add that each day to your total. And the more lessons you pass on Alex, the more points you've got the opportunity to get. Okay, y'all have a good day.